Hi. Welcome to Life is Strange. Uh, last time we were here, we played Chaos Theory. Honestly, I don't really remember much about this except what happened to Chloe. So hopefully, they're going to give us a bit of a Previously recap. Previously on Life is ah. Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor. Yes, this was... <laughs> I remember being slightly stunned by this. Wow. Okay, let's on crack. Alright, Square Enix. I'm used to your shenanigans from Deus Ex. Ah, bicycles. Probably not Chloe's. Is that too soon? <laughs> Sorry. I just want to see what pictures we've got to take, obviously. I mean, because that's the single most important thing. Oh, stylistically very cool, I forgot. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. 
Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh... Pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Um, I mean, okay, A, she clearly can move muscles, because she can talk. I know I'm being pedantic. And B, I mean, it's got to be Rachel, right? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Never uh, talked never. to her, obviously. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. I miss her blue hair, did I say that already? And how's she controlling this? With her head? It's not clear to me. So I'm assuming she used to like the word Hella. I don't really remember. I do not remember. Ah, oh, the lighthouse. This garden. A couple of times, maybe. Oh, it's a pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. 
Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Do we get to control Max getting some water? God, it's like the shower scene all over again. Wheelchair, bathroom, makeup. All right, where are we going to start? Ventilator. Switch off. No, that's cruel. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Do you know what? Let's look at the photos. Um, what do we need? Uh, some sort of window. Some rocks, some footsteps, cattails, and eggs. Alright, I guess we start with the window and some sort of dream catcher, perhaps. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. She can feel it with her face. That's, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop these things. It's not good. That's a serious heat. I wave. just. It actually genuinely, like, one of the games that made me feel the most, or actually seriously stop and realize I was feeling something, was The Walking Dead. So where here again. it actually made me I'm pause glad you about. Think so. Nope. It actually made me pause about opening a door uh, to confront the little girl. And I was like, I can't believe I'm taking this much time thinking about opening a door. Um, and this one is just, I mean. Oish. Yeah. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be thinking. Yet. Snow globes are taking over. <laughs> I like the dolphin one. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Well. Max, technically you didn't. I mean, okay, you did, but... Well, yeah, okay. It's nice my parents sent a card, at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan? Didn't we know a Megan? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. And look, that's the little hot dog thing that she had. Wait, don't we know a Megan? Wow, all these new people. Okay. I guess it got reset. Did we get all the pictures? I think we missed one in, like, uh, Chaos Theory, right? Yeah. Or did we get that? I don't know. Oh, we missed the bird. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. There's the old Chloe. There's the water. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Okay, we can't leave yet. So let's. It's lucky we started the other side because um, there's the delicious cup of water drip. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Mighty morphine. <laughs> okay. No yeah, more bongs for good. her. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Which one is Ignatius? Oh, okay, that's... She's Miss Blue, clearly. All right, let's give her some water. Drink up, buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. 
I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. As Megan. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Ooh, gee, da, 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 da. Are you lonely? She's clearly lonely. Um, that seems like a redundant question. Are they okay? They love you. Well, that's a bit lame, but... They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. I was literally about to say, can't we go gamble and rewind time and all that good stuff so that we can cover our bills? Can they pay all the bills? No way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay. Can we look at the faith picture, by the way? Bathroom, look, still can't go in. Okay. Wasn't there a run button? No, that's rewind. Ah, draw. Search, draw, search, draw. Did we miss that before? Despite everything, they're still a happy family. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Damn. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Wow. We can't get really into any of those other drawers, can we? And it's still any. I should have kept more in touch. I doubt anything much has changed. Draw, okay, these drawers definitely weren't available last time. Is that a massive TV there? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Now come on, where's this dream catcher? She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. 
Nothing but medical supplies. Was there another drawer underneath? No. Tissues. We didn't see those before. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. All right. I think we are done here, right? There definitely weren't any other drawers. Okay, let's uh, fire up that DVD for a bit of Blade Runnering. for a second. Yeah, told you Max fell asleep. believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Yeah. are. I'm on it, Chloe. Okay. I want to ride the wheelchair upstairs. Okay, let's find this photo opportunity. Can we go outside? We cannot go outside yet. We'll talk to William in a moment. He's freaking out about the bills. And I'll stop singing. Because it's bad. Food coupons, huh? Where's the run button? Is that run? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Alright, TV, look. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HD TV, and they use her shitty tube television. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Ooh, conversation options. Okay. I don't think they did go to Paris, though, did they? 
Oh, to man. think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Yes. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. Food coupons. Choices of food coupon, boss. Yum yum sausage. <laughs> no change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. All right, nothing of interest in here. Use paper. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of grey whales that inexplicably swam to land. And to their doom. Grey whales, that's what they were. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October the 9th, and within a few hours at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any ocean act uh, the, the, uh, unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has found to provide extra research funds to give the local scope, given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Continued on next page. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. All right. Come on then, William. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Let's work through them. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... Lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her, and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I'm... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. 
I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Right then. Let us look for a window with a photo opportunity. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Well, okay. But I'm sure there's some tat they've got they can sell. Go upstairs. Because loading both of those in one bit of memory would be against the law. Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Oh, Max, it is so Enjoy. nice to have you around. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Wow. I mean, surely we're gonna... Oh. Wait, was that something else over here? No. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Me? Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Joyce is smoking again. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is already a super mom. All right. Hey, Joyce. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except... Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I wish I was a better friend. 
I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Okay. Okay. Open. Sesame. I feel like there was some stuff on the bookshelf we could look at last time, but I guess that's gone now. Alright, where is this? What happens in here? Was this Max's? Was this Chloe's room? Yeah, sad face. Presumably this is the photo op. Come on. No? Okay. I guess we stopped growing up together. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Wow. This is dark. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Well, then why don't we have an open prompt? Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love... I never heard much about William's brother. Hang in there, Billy. This will be another of those moments where you can just sit for as long as you like. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I like the fact... I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I like the fact that you can just... I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? I like the fact that you can just sit and chill and reflect. I mean, yeah, it seems like giving Chloe the choice is, well, that's, I don't know, it's a rough choice, however you look at it, right? Would you like to walk again, or would you like to lose your papa? Yeah, that's brutal. Wait, so hold on. Dark room, dark room, okay. It's got to be in here somewhere. Let's try all of these rooms, one by one. one. One by one. There's the bathroom, that'll be the morphine stick. And apparently we're not allowed in either of these rooms. Where's the light switch, please? Thank you. Cabinet. Games with mirrors that work always please me. Games with mirrors that do not disappoint. Ah! It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Okay, I mean, let's not bother having a shower despite the fact we've just woken up in the same clothes as last night. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Is it though? Is it? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Is that the same one? No. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Well, yeah, these events could age anyone, Max. 
let's switch the light off because saving electricity is important. Okay, it doesn't actually let you examine anything with the light off. That's interesting. Neat little gimmick, I guess. Where is this picture? Hmm? Hmm? I don't see anything. To oh, think okay, that our yeah. destiny is keys. linked to goddamn car keys. I don't see anything I can pick up to put in the window. It's not going to be the Eiffel Tower. There's nothing there. There was nothing upstairs. We've looked at the mail and the flyers. All right. I guess we're missing out on that picture somehow. There'll be some sneaky shenanigans with a time wind back, say, right? Dear sir, you are screwed. Where is... Oh, SMS. Alyssa. We should probably... Victoria and Max, are we cool? Nathan was worried. Check your account, don't blow it all at once. Nathan in the dark room developing shorts of the contents. No two wells for you. Who's Taylor? Should we know these people? that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Wow. Times change, Max. Times change. Is there definitely nothing in here that we can do? I'm not gonna say fucking... I'm not gonna say fucking... Okay. Okay. Well, let's give her the morphine drip, and then I think we're gonna call it. Because this has been a big adventure. An emotional roller coaster. Can I open that window? Nope. And we can't use any of these little things, can we? I know, I'm sorry I keep looking at these, but okay, yeah, there's an open window. Is that like a tree outside, maybe? All right, I'm going to do one, I know, I'm sorry, one more little sweep of the uh, house just to make sure I can't open any windows. That window doesn't even interact. There's nothing. I feel like there should be something I could pick up to put in her window. Is it not going to let me go back up? Oh, God damn it. Okay. Well, that's that then. Bracelet. Was it the bracelet? There's the old Chloe. Can't pick that up, right? New. Nope. We checked the drawers. We checked all the drawers. We checked all the drawers. We checked all the drawers. All right, let's talk to Chloe. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um. Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. 
but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. So Chloe has her own photo album. <laughs> Said like that's a terrible thing, wow. Oh, come on, window, I want to hang something in you. Alright, let's do this thing. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Is that okay? Yes, because it's sideways. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Jesus. Oh, good Lord. Um, it's can't we talk about the option at least before we kill her? That seems like it would be a nice thing. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Oish.
I just, I mean, oh god. We already killed Dingleberry, whatever her name was. I kind of want to see both. I kind of want to refuse, but I kind of really want to accept, because poor Chloe. And we can always wind back time, can't we? Except don't these things mean you can't wind back time? Uh, and then William's going to walk in and we're going to get banned from the house and it's all going to be wrong. Let's just, oh God. Chloe, I'll just drift to sleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. And I've just lied to William saying I'll always be there for Chloe. Oh God. Oh God. Well, let's explore both options and see what happens. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Presumably now we wind time back. Don't we? Was it this one or was it the trigger that did it quickly? It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Oh, Chloe. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Focus on the photo. All right, we're going to take it back. Now we're going to put her out of her misery. And now we're going to focus on the photo. I'm sorry, William. This will surely be where the dream catcher photo is. Use L and R to focus the photo. Wait, so which one does it? That's the most focused there. the most focused there. Boop. All right. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Oh. 
Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh, God, the feels. What a just, I mean... Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. All right, we are definitely, this is too much. We're definitely calling it here. Oh, God. It's a dark picture. She can crash a car anyway. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, that's burning up. Alright, good. Oh, I give up, I'm sorry. Okay, we're definitely done. Cool pictures. Right, this, my friends, is where we're going to wrap it. Um, I will pick it up next time. Um, probably over the weekend, I'm not sure. But we'll see what happens. Chloe. You're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grow. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was just spaced out here trying to put all this info. I'll be honest, that feels like a bit of a cop-out. Um, in terms of... Well, I suppose you had to explore the opportunity, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, what would happen if we saved William? You couldn't really go through, because you'd just be left asking, well, why don't you go back in time and save William? So, fair enough. But it feels like a bit of a twist and bait and switch. But we had to really get back to Chloe, because as she says, CSI Arcadia Bay. Anyway, that on the top left is the previous... Episode Chaos Theory on the top right will be uh, the next one. I will see you in the next video. Love, bye.